Welcome back to Top 100 Chinese Idioms. In this episode, we'll explore the fascinating Chinese idiom Shouju Dai Tu, or Waiting for a Rabbit by the Stump. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more delightful and educational Chinese idiom stories. Shouju Dai Tu literally translates to Guarding the Tree Stump, Waiting for a Rabbit. This idiom is used to describe someone who relies on luck or chance rather than putting in the effort to achieve their goals. Let's dive into the origin of this idiom and share a funny example to illustrate its meaning. The story of Shouju Dai Tu comes from the ancient Chinese text, Zhan Guosu, a historical work from the Warring States period, dating back to the 3rd century BCE. One day, a farmer was working in the fields when he saw a rabbit running at full speed. To his surprise, the rabbit crashed into a tree stump and died instantly. Delighted by his unexpected fortune, the farmer decided to abandon his work and simply wait by the tree stump, hoping that another rabbit would meet the same fate. Days turned into weeks, and still, no more rabbits appeared. The farmer's crops withered and died, and he realized that relying on chance alone wouldn't bring him success. Just like the farmer waiting for a rabbit by the stump, we sometimes hope for luck to bring us success rather than taking action and working hard. This idiom serves as a reminder to be proactive and not rely solely on chance. Let's imagine a man named Dave, who dreams of becoming a millionaire. Instead of working hard and saving money, Dave buys lottery tickets every week, hoping to win big. One day, Dave's friend suggests he try investing his money or starting a business to increase his wealth. Dave, however, insists that his luck will turn, and he'll win the lottery eventually. As time goes on, Dave's friend sees success from their investments and hard work, while Dave is still waiting for his big win. Just like the farmer waiting for a rabbit by the stump, Dave's reliance on luck alone prevents him from achieving his goals. So, the next time you find yourself shows you die too or notice someone else doing so, remember the story of the farmer and the rabbit. Be proactive, work hard, and don't rely solely on chance to achieve your dreams. Thank you for watching this episode of Top 100 Chinese Idioms. If you enjoyed this story and learned something new, make sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video, and leave a comment with your favorite Chinese idiom. And don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing tales from Chinese culture. See you in the next episode.